Greetings, Cyber Dogs and citizens of the Interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you from the Molehole Castle lobby in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. How's everybody out there doing today, man? Oh, I gotta tell you, my friends, it feels so good to be back in a Minecraft survival world. I have been, as you guys probably have noticed, completely consumed by modded Minecraft for the last week or so. And uh, man, I have just been jamming full craft like nobody's business. And it has been an absolute blast. I really have missed a little bit of vanilla Minecraft though. And I've particularly missed the Moleshire. Last time we were together, man, we finally cracked the nut on the life tree root system. Oh, it looks so freaking good right now. I'm currently trying to figure out what we're going to do down here. I'm experimenting a little bit over here um, and let's see what you guys think about this right what I'm thinking is I want to try and make the the uh, lobby here a little bit more natural looking right almost as if as these roots have grown they have forced bits of the earth around them to sort of fall down and land on the pathways and stuff and I don't know I kind of want to get this feeling a little bit more like a cave in here rather than like a really a sort of well-made castle or something so I'm experimenting with a few rock features here and there and uh, hopefully this is going to turn out really nicely do I have any bone meal down here uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, but anyway yes guys I have been completely consumed by modded Minecraft it has been really really awesome for those of you guys who are perhaps wondering what I'm talking about well we started a brand new series on the Ren Diggity Dog channel about a week ago so, or, or so ago it's called Full Craft 3 it's modded Minecraft and I'm playing with a whole bunch of other awesome people uh, on a modded Minecraft server hey if you guys haven't checked it out yet man go check it out I put a link in the description box below and you know what man I'd love to run a little poll right now with you cyber negative dogs out there okay check the top right hand corner of the video how many of you guys out there uh, are watching the full craft series um very curious to know you know i mean the thing about modded minecraft and, and vanilla minecraft is that it kind of separates the minecraft community in some ways uh, some minecrafters absolutely love modded minecraft some some uh, minecrafters love vanilla minecraft some people love both of them some people can't stand modded some people can't stand uh, modded uh, did i just say that some people can't stand uh, vanilla Minecraft and I don't know over the years it's always divided uh, the player base and the YouTube audience a little bit so I'm kind of curious to see how many of you guys out there are enjoying that series hey if, you, if you're not enjoying that series that's totally cool man if you haven't checked it out yet hey go give it a try I think we're doing a pretty good job on that series uh, it's going really really well and I'm having loads of fun out there uh, anyway we've got lots and lots and lots of things to do in this series still of course guys and I know that we're a little bit like late on episodes and we're not really having as many episodes uh, over the last couple of weeks or so and don't worry we'll get back to regular episodes soon guys uh, when I start a new series on my channel I generally get like really excited about it and uh, I get really inspired and I just want to spend a lot of time playing I think I'm close to 65 or 70 hours now on full craft already uh, over the last week or so which just shows you you know how inspired I am at the moment uh, to play there and I think as a youtuber that's where your best content Content comes from too. If you're inspired uh, to play a series, or if you're really enjoying playing a series, I think it's really important that you that you ride that wave. You ride the wave of inspiration because not only do you have an awesome time. This is looking really sweet, by the way, right? I like it, man. Uh, not only are you having a great time and really enjoying what you're doing, I think that sort of shines through um, in your videos, in your content, right? It, it it comes through in what you're making, your your uh, your passion and your your desire to play and your desire to have fun. It all comes through in your your episodes and i think it just makes for better content for everybody and uh yeah man it's it's all good though baby it's all good man you guys don't have to worry about the series okay i saw i've seen a few of you in the comments saying ren i r.i.p the Molshire, you're never gonna play there again all you're gonna do now is play modern minecraft what's happened to you ren digging it down you've changed you've changed you're not the dog i once knew guys please don't worry about it okay we are never we're not gonna be giving up this series for a very very long time uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm anticipating at least a couple of years we'll be playing this series. So please don't, don't stress about it, my dudes. Okay? Um, I know you guys love the series, and, and obviously that means a lot to me. And 
I really love the series too. You know, modded Minecraft is is very taxing for the Rendigity dog, uh, mentally speaking, because well, I'm not a, the most technical Minecraft player, as you guys know, right? I, I often struggle with technical stuff in Minecraft, and well, modded Minecraft is technical Minecraft, but next level technical Minecraft, right? By the way, what I'm trying to do is keep these these uh, windows exposed. How beautiful does that look, actually? Man, that's turned it out real tasty. We can still see our sugarcane farms in there too. That's really awesome. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm not exactly the most technical Minecrafter there is, and modded Minecraft is basically the epitome of technical Minecraft, right? It, it really is kind of kind of tricky, and it's very difficult for me to play modded Minecraft. The reason that uh, it takes me so long is because I have to do a lot of time doing research, you know, learning new stuff about modded Minecraft, trying to figure out what I'm going to do using different machines that I have no idea what they do. I'm pretty much like you guys out there who don't play modded Minecraft, okay? I know very little about it, and I've got to spend a lot of time researching, which is why for the last uh, couple of weeks or so, there haven't been that many uh, survival episodes because I've probably been spending the time that I should be here in our Minecraft survival world doing research for modded. Um, but it's all good, baby. It's all good. We are back in business here in the Molshire. By the way, dudes, I've got lots of exciting stuff that I want to do today. I wanted to kick off, uh, kick things off today here in the lobby because this has been kind of the project that we've been working on. I think it's coming together really, really nicely. I like it a lot, man. And uh, let's have a look at what we've done here. Look at that. That's actually... That's really pretty. I like that a lot, right? It, it just cuts away those really straight corners of the, the room a little bit. Makes it feel a little bit more natural. And uh, this place is really coming together, man. I like it. Uh, but listen, there's lots of other things that I wanted to do today. Oh, no, it's night time. Let's quickly sleep the night away here. I think the last time we were together, we put together a, a little bit of a diary, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> the diary of the dog, I believe is what it's called. And oops, in this diary is everything that we got planned for the series so far. Mole Rail Incorporated. Uh, we went through all of this last time. I was having a look through this this morning while I was preparing for today's episode. And I was having a look at this one, Mole Town. This is kind of where I want to focus our attentions for the next few episodes or so. Uh, the lobby is coming along really, really good. I might finish off quite a lot of that internal um, stuff that, you know, that detail work that I was just doing with you guys. Now, I'll probably do a lot of that off camera. Maybe we'll do a stream or two of that um, because that's just a whole bunch of sort of block placing, right? Some tedious block placing. But up here is where things are interesting. The eggs are flying <laughs> out of rain, rain dog fried chicken over there. Uh, but take a look at this. This morning I spent a bit of time collecting a bunch of loggage. Got a bunch of spruce wood logs, a bunch of dark oak wood logs. I would like to start building the trunk of the life tree, getting it out here into Mole Town and trying to figure out exactly how massive this tree is going to be. I'm guessing we're going to have these branches sort of going over this. There's going to be a canopy underneath the life tree over here, right? That's going to be pretty awesome. So a, a big section of Mole Town is basically going to be covered by a big tree I guess uh, that's going to be sweet but there's another place here that I want to kick off worked on today and that is the chicken farmer's house over here we rammed this guy in here a couple of episodes ago Gobelia <laughs> and she's trading uh, raw chicken for emeralds but I want to get this whole emerald trading business started. I want to start collecting a bunch of emeralds here so we can trade with Griswold. I want to make a few more ender chests and stuff. Uh, so here is everything I've collected so far. I want to turn Gobelia's house into a bit of a storage facility for everything coming out of the chicken farm. I'd also like to work a little bit on this area over here. Um, and originally we had this under a cave, which I didn't really like that much. And we kind of changed that a little bit. But we've kind of left it looking a little bit ugly around the actual uh, chicken farms themselves, right? It looks a little bit janktastic out here. So I thought what we do today to kick things off is let's work a little bit on the surroundings of this thing. Oh, and I had a really awesome suggestion uh, by one of you guys in the comments about using a little bit of diorite in this build. I never use diorite because I absolutely hate it. I think it's the worst block in Minecraft, but it does have its purposes sometimes, right? And one of those purposes, of course, is to represent chicken poop because let's be honest guys that pretty much looks like chicken poop to me <laughs> so this might be one of the very few places in the minecraft survival world uh, where a diorite might actually fit the build a little bit right so check it out let's add a little bit of diorite down here 
<laughs> underneath the chicken pens. And actually, that works pretty decently. Check at that, man. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. We're adding a little bit of chicken poop under here uh, for cow and chicken's children um, seeping through <laughs> the chicken boxes over here. It's actually quite disgusting, really, because uh, I can tell you something. I'm not getting in there and cleaning up the poop, let me tell you. That's Gobelia's job, and she's pretty lazy. She's currently chilling inside of a minecart. You know, she ain't cleaning no poop around here, man. Jeez. Uh, anyway, that actually works really nicely. So thanks for that suggestion, whoever that was. I think that works nice. I don't think we want to do too much, though. Uh, but it definitely feels like there is a bunch of chicken poop underneath here, uh, which is actually kind of awesome. Uh, now, we made the decision that we were going to keep these chicken pens um, in, the outside, in the outside, right? Which I think is probably the right decision. But as I said, we've kind of messed up a little bit uh, on the terraforming around here. So let's do a little bit of work out here uh, just to get this looking a little bit better. I mean, out here is absolutely jankastic, right? Maybe we can even make this cliffside come all the way out over here. And uh, yeah, we can try and make it look a little bit better than this. So I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to settle in for a little bit of block placing over here. Nothing better than a bit of block placing on a Wednesday morning. And and uh, we'll be back when there's something more pretty to look at. Kaplam! Cyber diggity dogs, I gotta tell you, man, I'm having such a productive morning right now. All I gotta worry about is placing some blocks down next to each other and making them look good. Instead of worrying about crazy modded machines that are all complicated and stuff. Oh, it does feel good to play a bit of vanilla Minecraft, man. Take a look at what I've done around here, guys. In fact, I've done a lot of stuff around here, including a bunch of interior work inside of Gabelia's house. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. But I have upgraded the interior of the organic chicken farm, and it certainly is organic. We've got a bunch of chicken poop everywhere. And I've just done a harvest also to collect a bunch of chicken bits uh, for the interior. Yeah, you guys could see some some things have happened in there, man. Looking pretty sweet. Anyway, before before we get to that uh, exclusive preview, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, here we are in the chicken farm. Uh, I, you can see I've done a bunch of terraforming around the area. And it's just looking a lot better, isn't it? It's just looking a lot more... Um, well, natural, I suppose. It sort of fits the area much better, and we've got chicken poop all over the show. And the chicken farm is working a treat, man. Every now and then you can see an egg popping out of here. Uh, there is a bit of an infestation happening up there, though, isn't there? We probably need to deal with that. I'm sorry, chickens, but you're not supposed to be living up there. You're just going to have to all get wrecked. Uh, there we go. Um, and the thing is, dudes, we get so much stuff out of this chicken farm, we probably don't even need to go pick those those chicken bits up. But for the ca the sake of a OCD, because I know some of you you guys will go mental if I don't go pick that stuff up, let's go and collect the chicken bits from the top of the barristrade over here. Stupid chickens! Oh my goodness. Um, we might need to move this shooter, maybe one block that way, and that will stop this happening. But from up here, we actually get a really nice view. Uh, of the area. I also did a bit of terraforming on the side of a Gobelia's house here, which looks pretty sweet. Uh, need to fix that up there, though. That's looking pretty jankastic. But yeah, let's get into Gobelia's house over here, guys. I've got some really, really cool stuff to show you. And we've got a little bit of work to do inside of that house, too. Um, because, well, it's been a little bit of a mission this morning, trying to figure out exactly how to make Gobelia's house. So the way that this is functioning is that we've got the Chicken Slayer um, Sword of Doom up here. <laughs> which has got uh, looting three on it so that we get a bunch of chicken bits out of there. And that sits above here. So whenever we come and do a harvest, we just pick it up from there. But then when we go into Gobelia's house, we are storing all of the bits over here. So a couple of things to have a look at in here since we were last together. Firstly, I've got this little storage center over here. And uh, each of these pillars of chests is representing each of the uh, different items that we are storing. So we're storing raw chicken over here, cooked chicken here, feathers up in here, eggs up in here here and then the emeralds of course that we are going to be getting from Gobelia uh, I'm going to be storing in these chests over here and we're going to use those emeralds to trade with Griswold so we can get some more um, uh, freaking ender pearls so we can make some more ender chests and and some other stuff eventually uh, also I have made a little bit of a hearth over here right it looks pretty sweet um, I've got some netherrack down there underneath that fire and that means that this fire is going to burn forever and as you can see the smoke goes up into a chimney and this the 
the smoke sort of gets taken out of the chimney via this uh, pipe. It's supposed to be representing a pipe. And there is the actual chimney itself. Uh, so I kind of wanted this whole system to make sense, right? And uh, yeah, I guess it didn't really need to do it this way. But I don't know. I like making Minecraft builds that are kind of realistic in a way. So anyway, the smoke goes up there and then follows this pipe and then gets uh, exited out in the uh, in the chimney above. So, Gabelia's house looking pretty awesome inside. I still got a lot of work to do inside there, though. I did want to come up and fix this, though. Do I have enough blocks to do this? Uh, yeah, we do. Let's just fix a little bit of this jazz. And I've also did a little bit of uh, ex exposing back here uh, of the, the side of the mountain. And that is, of course, because um, I've added a stair above these chests and, of course, these slams above the chest so that we can still open the chests um, at the top of our storage facility over here, right? So that's coming together pretty good. We need a little bit more fixing to do up there. But there is something else that I wanted to add to Cobelia's house today with you guys. And that is some sort of a bedroom situation. Uh, it's mostly for myself so that when I'm in this particular area of the world and uh, it's night time, I can sleep the night away, right? Uh, so that we can protect all of our villages and whatnot. And I'm probably going to have to come and do a little bit of terraforming up here too, uh, just to sort of fix what we broke here. But that's fine. We'll deal with that at some other point. The inventory's getting <laughs> completely jam-packed with nonsense right now. Um, anyway, I wanted to figure out a place for Gobelia to sleep. Hi there, baby. What's happening? Uh, you liking the inside of your house right now? It's looking pretty sweet, right? But yeah, we have a lot of work still to do in here, guys. It's coming together, though, really nicely. This sheep seems to uh, have read, be reading my mind right now. He knows exactly what I'm thinking. I kind of want to get Gobelia's bedroom in here somewhere. But to make that happen, we're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming out here on the side of the mountain, right? I'm um, going to have to build up this, basically, this cliff side up a bit. Just so that we can bring her, her bedroom out a little bit. I guess what we could do, the sun is about to set, though. So this is probably a pretty bad idea. I guess we could try work out exactly... Exactly how big we want Gobelia's bedroom to be, or should I say my bedroom, <laughs> here in this particular house. Uh, that feels about right, I guess. It doesn't need to be too massive. We'll have like the bed over here and then some walls around it. And uh, let me sleep this night away, actually. Yeah, let me get cracking with this, guys. Let me try and figure this out. And hopefully I can fix this cliff side also and get some sort of a bedroom installed here. But yeah, very happy with how Gobelia's house is coming together. It's looking pretty snazzy, right? That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be, guys. About three or four stacks of dirt later, I have kind of repaired the cliff line a little bit. And Gobelia's bedroom is right about here. So it's looking quite natural. I kind of like that, man. Also, the sun is setting again. And I am trapped outside of the Molshire right now, which is kind of worrying me. Also... There's no real easy way to get back into the Volshai from this side, other than going all the way around the back, right? <laughs> Which is a little bit of a terrifying situation right now. I think I need to pop myself over the top of the wall over here, and uh, we'll clean up this new pillar at some other point. Let's get <laughs> let's get in back into the safety of Moltown over here. Beautiful. Uh, so that should give us a nice little area to work with over here in Gabelia's bedroom. Yeah, it's not exactly the most massive bedroom in the world, but let's face it, Gabelia Gabelia is single, man. She's living here all by herself, chilling, cooking chickens all day. She's got a pet sheep also that seems to like this part of her house quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we don't need to make her an absolutely massive bedroom. Maybe we could get uh, two beds in this particular bedroom because, um, well, you know what I'm saying, man. Sometimes, sometimes, um, sometimes things happen out here in Moltown, okay? But we won't really talk about that family friendly channel and all so i've been working on a little bit of interior decorating over here guys and i gotta be honest with you man i am struggling <laughs> interior decoration in minecraft has never really been my strong suit in fact it's probably the thing that i'm the worst at in this uh, beautiful game but i am doing my best over here i have finished off a little house there for Ge or a little room rather for gobelia and <laughs> i'll show you that in a second i wanted to install a little kitchen for her over over here though so she could start cooking us some delicious delicious dinner. Uh, maybe we'll have like a furnace over here, the crafting over, crafting table over here where you prepare the dinner, right? And then maybe a couple of kitchen cabinets to the side. 
<laughs> something like that. Although this one probably needs to be made out of stone because that's going to be close to the fireplace. And uh, well, it will get set on fire if we put the wood too close to the fire. So yeah, maybe the maybe the kitchen is actually made out of stone bricks <laughs> instead of wood, right? Yeah, that probably makes a little bit more sense. And uh, maybe we can get like a little pot over here. Uh, maybe this is like, uh, I don't know, a bit of gravy, I guess, is what that looks like. Uh, maybe we could make a couple more pots over here too. And uh, we could do a little bit of interior decoration up in this business. I'm so bad at this, by the way, guys. I'm so bad at this. I know that there's a ton of you guys out there who are really good at interior design. Uh, but yeah, that, that looks pretty sweet. The sheep's putting his feet in the gravy. Dude, That that's really, really rude. <laughs> anyway, take a look at this. I've been working a little bit on Gobelia's bedroom. <laughs> And, um, well, it's not looking great in here, is it? It's looking very, well, dark to start with. And actually, it's more of a cupboard than a bedroom. Let's be completely honest with ourselves here, guys. She doesn't have a lot of room to work with over here. So, yeah, I was trying to find some ways to make her bedroom a little bit more interesting. Maybe we could have, a like, a, a library book thing here. And let's give her a nice little flower also next to her bed. I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, maybe we can give her, I don't know, like a, a is that a bedside table? Uh, I guess it is. Maybe we want to have a chest next to her bed, actually, right? Like a drawer, a chest of drawers. Man, I need to go to some sort of interior decoration in Minecraft school. Because I absolutely suck at this, man. It's so freaking difficult. Uh, may oh, I know what we could do. We could add a bench in here, right? Or like a seat of some kind. Uh, but let's do that with like a different wood type. Let's use some oak, uh, oak wood for this. So let's make a couple of oak wood planks. And... And then we can make some stairs. And yeah, she can have like a like a, a very uncomfortable couch <laughs> over there. Wow, <laughs> that is super uncomfortable. Uh, also, there's absolutely no light in here, is there? She kind of needs to have like a bedside lamp, I suppose, which could have gone over here. Okay, tell you what, let's make like a, a bedside table. Is that a bedside table? Not really. Is this something better we could use for a bedside table? I don't, I don't really know, guys. This, this is kind of hard. There is something that I did want to show you guys, though. Check this out, right? We're going to definitely put a painting in her room, I think. And uh, we surround a bit of white wool to get a painting. And in Minecraft, um, well, you can make a whole bunch of random different paintings just by right-clicking. Uh, and yeah, that one is absolutely horrible. That's a wither. <laughs> we don't want that in Gabelia's house. Um, and we should be able to get a fairly decent painting over here. I guess you can see they, they're, they're always random, uh, the way that you put them here. But man, these are all absolutely massive paintings. I think what we have to do is try and force the painting into a smaller space, right? So I want the painting in there and that actually goes behind the thing there that's interesting so let's add another block here and try that again okay so there's a small painting i have not is that an egg i, I don't know what that is but yeah we'll go with that uh, i feel really uncomfortable right now with this interior decoration my dudes i think i'm gonna have to spend a time a little bit of time on youtube or something watching some interior decoration uh tutorials or something like that because i'm clearly absolutely no good at this it's turning out absolutely terribly in there man is there anything else that we can do oh i know what we could do maybe we can uh do this for the bedside table how do we do this is it is it this like a so, yeah, that makes a fairly decent bedside table, right? Like a bit of chisel stone brick, like that. Yeah, that actually works pretty good. And maybe we can just give her like a lamp. <laughs> is is that a lamp? That is the that is the derpiest freaking bedside lamp I think I've ever seen. Uh, but at least she's got a bit of a couch over here, so that's good. And maybe on this side. Maybe this is where her, her bedroom drawer is. Is this... Oh, I know what we could do here. We could potentially make a little bit of... Um, I don't know, like a like a chest of drawers for her. Okay, check this out. Check this out, guys. I am going to... I'm going to give this one more go. This interior decoration thing one more go, okay? What we could do is add a wardrobe over here, right? So the wardrobe could go like there. Uh, no, let's push the wardrobe back just one more block like here. So there we go. She's got a wardrobe over here, right? Right? Sweet. <laughs> I actually made something look decent. Uh, kind of. And I guess we can do it like that. 
no, that looks absolutely terrible also. Maybe the wardrobe looks a little bit like that. There we go. So there's a wardrobe. Uh, doesn't really have any clothes behind it right now, but maybe we can add some chests back here or something, right? That could work out pretty good, actually. All right. This has clearly fried my brain beyond recognition right now, guys. And yep, yeah, still breaking stuff, still trying to fix the walls and whatnot, but I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. I'll put you out of your misery, guys. I know you don't probably don't want to watch any more of this derpage, because let's be honest, it is ridiculously painful. There we go. All right, Gobelia's cupboard. What's in Gobelia's cupboard? <laughs> Sounds like a terrible TV program or something. Uh, but yeah, I think we've done a pretty decent job of uh, sprucing up her, her bedroom a little bit. It's not terrible. It's not the greatest bedroom I've ever seen. But yeah, you now have a place to sleep, Gobelia. What, what's going on here? Hi. Didn't mean to interrupt, but yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Next episode, I think I'll probably have finished off the interior over here. Still a little bit of work to do inside, but hope you like what you see out here. Hope you like uh, what you see out here in Rendog Fried Chicken. Also, coming along a treat. And my dudes, thank you so much for watching, man. If you enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. You smack it, he smack the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and jingle jangle the notification bell thingy majiggy so you can keep up with this series and all of the other series on my channel. And guys, if you haven't given Full Craft a chance yet, go and check it out. Links in the description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Rendigity Dog, signing out. We'll smell you all in the next episode.